Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is UPSC TSAPF Question Paper 2013 Paper 1. Question number 1. If we deduct grants for creation of capital assets from revenue deficit, we arrive at the concept of Option A. Primary deficit. Option B. Net fiscal deficit. Option C. Budgetary deficit. Option D. Effective revenue deficit. The correct answer is Option D. Effective revenue deficit. Effective revenue deficit is the difference between revenue deficit and grants for creation of capital assets. The concept of effective revenue deficit has been suggested by the Rangarajan Committee on Public Expenditure. It is aimed to deduct the money used out of borrowing to finance capital expenditure. Question number 2. Which one among the following items has maximum weight in wholesale price index in India? Option A. Primary article. Option B. Fuel and power. Option C. Manufactured product. Option D. Food item. The correct answer is. Option C. Manufactured product. CPI Food Group has a weight of 39.1% as compared to the combined weight of 24.4%. Food articles and manufactured food products in the WPI basket. The CPI basket consists of services like housing, education, medical care, recreation, etc. which are not part of the WPI basket. Question number 3. The rate of inflation in India is measured generally in respect of movement of Option A. Consumer Price Index Option B. Wholesale Price Index Option C. Cost of Living Index for Agricultural Labor Option D. Money Supply The correct answer is Option B. Wholesale Price Index the inflation rate in India was 5.5% as of May 2019, as per the Indian Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. This represents a modest reduction from the previous annual figure of 9.6% for June 2011. Inflation rates in India are usually quoted as changes in the Wholesale Price Index, WPI, for all commodities. Question number 4. Privatization includes Option A. Sale of public enterprises to private sector. Option B. Disinvestment of public enterprise equity. Option C. Participation of private sector in management in public sector enterprises. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. Privatization can mean different things including moving something from the public sector into the private sector. It is also sometimes used as a synonym for deregulation when a heavily regulated private company or industry becomes less regulated. Government functions and services may also be privatized. In this case, private entities are tasked with the implementation of government programs or performance of government services that had previously been the purview of state-run agencies. Some examples include revenue collection, law enforcement, water supply, and prison management. Question number 5. Which of the following statements is correct with respect to the convertibility of Indian rupee? Option A. It is convertible on capital account. Option B. It is convertible on current account. Option C. It is convertible both on current and capital account. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is. Option C. It is convertible both on current and capital account. Current account and capital account convertibility of currency. A currency may be convertible on the current account, that is, exports and imports of merchandise and invisible, only. A currency may be convertible on both current and capital accounts. We have explained above the convertibility of a currency on the current account only. Question number 6. The Government of India refers to the absolute poverty line in terms of Option A. Household Savings Option B. Household Consumption Option C. Household Investment Option D. Household Income 
The correct answer is Option B. Household consumption. According to economists' poverty, a line of $3.20 translates into rupees 75 a day, or 68% higher than the Tindulkar poverty line. Viable poverty line. It makes sense to set the poverty line at a level that allows households to get two square meals a day and other basic necessities of life. Question number 7. Natural gas is a mixture of gases and contains mainly Option A. Methane and higher hydrocarbons. Option B. Butane and isobutene. Option C. Only methane. Option D. Methane, hydrogen, and carbon monoxide. The correct answer is Option A. Methane and higher hydrocarbons. Natural gas, also called fossil gas, is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon gas mixture consisting primarily of methane, but commonly including varying amounts of other higher alkanes, and sometimes a small percentage of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen sulfide, or helium. Question number 8. Diamond is a polymorph of graphite. Both contain carbon atoms, but, they have extremely different properties because of the condition in which they are formed. Diamond is obtained after applying. Option A. Very high pressure and low temperature. Option B. Very low pressure and high temperature. Option C. Very low pressure and low temperature. Option D. Very high pressure and high temperature. The correct answer is Option D. Very high pressure and high temperature. Graphite, archaically referred to as plumbago, is a crystalline form of the element carbon with its atoms arranged in a hexagonal structure. It occurs naturally in this form and is the most stable form of carbon under standard conditions. Under high pressures and temperatures, it converts to diamond. Graphite is used in pencils and lubricants. It is a good conductor of heat and electricity. Question number 9. The three primary soil micronutrients are Option A. Carbon, oxygen and water. Option B. Copper, cadmium and carbon. Option C. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Option D. Boron, zinc and magnesium. The correct answer is Option C. Nitrogen. Phosphorus and potassium. The three primary nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are typically referred to as NPK and are commonly found listed for fertilizers. The secondary macronutrients are calcium, magnesium, and sulfur. Finally, the micronutrients that plants need include iron, manganese, zinc, copper, boron, molybdenum, and chlorine. Question number 10. Diamond ring gods eye and Bailey's beads are the parts of which one among the following natural phenomena. Option A. Solar eclipse. Option B. Aurora. Option C. Lightning. Option D. Solar storm. The correct answer is. Option A. Solar eclipse. On August 11, 1999, millions of people in the Northern Hemisphere will have one last chance in this millennium to marvel at a total solar eclipse. Some of nature's rarest wonders, Bailey's beads, the diamond ring, mysterious shadow bands, and, of course, the sun's ephemeral corona. Question number 11. Turing machine serves as Option A. A machine to identify explosives. Option B. An indicator to inform about forest fire. Option C. An instrument for finding out gravitational constant. Option D. A theoretical computing machine to act as an ideal model for mathematical calculation. The correct answer is. Option D. A theoretical computing machine to act as an ideal model for mathematical calculation. The Turing machine is the theoretical computing machine invented by Alan Turing, 1937, to serve as an idealized model for mathematical calculation. Question number 12. The logo of which of the following famous organizations is a giant panda? Option A. World Wildlife Fund or World Wide Fund for Nature, WWF. Option B. 
International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, IUCN. Option C. United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. Option D. United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. The correct answer is Option A. World Wildlife Fund or World Wide Fund for Nature, WWF. The WWF logo also carries a significant commercial value. It was actually inspired by a giant panda at London Zoo named Chi Chi, representing the organization's enduring efforts to protect this wonderful species, as well as other endangered species. Question number 13. Which of the following is the correct chronological order of TV display technologies? Option A. CRT, Plasma, LED. Option B. CRT, LED, Plasma. Option C. LED, CRT, Plasma. Option D. Plasma, LED, CRT. The correct answer is. Option A. CRT, Plasma, LED. A good display makes all the difference and no doubt enhances the user experience. The innovation in display technologies has improved the quality of the display devices including monitors. Now the desktop computers are available with a variety of displays ranging from technologically obsolete CRT monitors to the latest slim LCD, LED, or old. Question number 14. Which one among the following sectors in India has the highest share of employment? Option A. Agriculture and Allied Activities. Option B. Manufacturing. Option C. Construction. Option D. Tertiary Sector. The correct answer is. Option A. Agriculture and Allied Activities. Although the share of agriculture in India's GDP has been declining, Yet agriculture and its allied sectors like forestry and fishing, but not including mining and quarrying, contributes nearly 14% to India's GDP, accounts for about 11% of our exports, and supports half of our population's livelihood, besides also being the source of raw material for a large number of industries. Question number 15. The Human Development Report, 2013, UNDP does not focus on option a sustaining development momentum option b peace and security option c confronting environmental pressure option d managing demographic change the correct answer is option b peace and security its implications for human development the 2013 human development report is also about this changing world driven in large measure by the rise of the South. It examines the progress being made, the challenges arising, some as a result of that very success, and the opportunities emerging for representative global and regional governance. Question number 16. In order to provide pensions to workers of the unorganized sector, which one among the following schemes has been launched by the government? Option A. Swabhiman. Option B. Swavalamban. Option C. Swadhar. Option D. Adhar. The correct answer is. Option B. Swavalamban. To safeguard people working in the unorganized sector, the government launched Atal Pension Yojana. The pension scheme was introduced to secure the old age of people by encouraging them to save for their retirement period. This scheme was launched in the year 2015 as an extension of Swavalamban Yojana. Question number 17. Which one among the following is the latest nation to join the World Trade Organization, as on March 2013? Option A. North Korea. Option B. China. Option C. Russia. Option D. Tajikistan. The correct answer is. Option D. Tajikistan. Tajikistan is to be welcomed as a member of the World Trade Organization on March 2, 2013, after the nation concluded the ratification of its succession package. Question number 18. The 27th Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration was conferred on Option A. Ilabhat Option B. 
Guizar. Option C. Mohand Hariya. Option D. A.R. Rahman. The correct answer is. Option B. Guizar. The Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration was instituted in 1985 to people promoting national unity. Expressing gratitude, Gulzar praised Indira Gandhi for her dynamic personality. Question number 19. Who among the following won the men's singles All England Badminton Championship held in Birmingham, England in 2013? Option A. Lee Chong Wei. Option B. Chen Long. Option C. Chen Xin. Option D. Lin Dan. The correct answer is. Option B. Chen Long. World number one Chen Long of China beat two time Olympic champion Lin Dan for the first time in their seven meetings to reach the final at the All England Badminton Championships here. Chen, the All England winner in 2013, took a surprise straight set win 21 13, 21 12 in just 45 minutes. He will fight for the title on Sunday against Denmark's Jano Jorgensen who defeated Shosasaki of Japan 21-11, 21-12 in the other semi-final, Shinwa reported on Saturday. Question number 20. United Nations General Assembly declared the year 2013 as Option A. International Year of Water Cooperation Option B. International Year of Space Cooperation Option C. International Year of Air Cooperation Option D. International Year of Science and Technology Cooperation. The correct answer is. Option A. International Year of Water Cooperation. The International Year of Water Cooperation in 2013 was declared by the United Nations General Assembly back in December 2010. A day has been dedicated for the 2013 World Water Day and that will be 22 Mac 2013 with them for water cooperation. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.